What was a clothing controversy came to a happy resolution today. Yeah, last night we told you about a youth hockey team that ended up with these enormous jerseys and a sizable debt. The Stoughton hockey team got the jerseys late. They were in the wrong color and they were big enough to fit an adult male. The heads <laughs> of that league said the company wouldn't refund them or fix the problem. So the team was forced to make expensive alterations. Danica Lewis joins us now with the good news that those teams received today. Danica. Well, Eric, after seeing the story, another Minnesota-based sports gear company wants to anonymously donate jerseys to the Stoughton Youth Hockey Association, a saving grace since the league decided to cut ties with the original jersey provider, who, according to the association president, barely responded to the oversized shirt problem until now. Hi, I'm looking for Jeff. I'm Jeff. This was the response from Jeff McClode. We're, we're not doing this. Owner of Breakaway Sportswear. <laughs> who Stoughton's Youth Hockey League paid around $4,000 to for new jerseys. It has been the, the biggest pain I've ever had in 10 years of hockey. Wade Rui, the association's president, says the shirts came in two months late in the wrong color and noticeably oversized. It's so big on me. Better suited as a dress. Than game gear. And these kids are going to be almost in high school before you know they would fit them. Turns out Breakaway Sports were escorted D minus with Minnesota's Better Business Bureau. McClode also appears to run two other companies, Gaming Jerseys and The Ink Doctor, neither of which are registered with the state. I paid $33 for two to three day shipping. This video, posted by another dissatisfied customer, warns others of the problems. The jersey didn't come in in time for PAX East, not in time for me to wear while making this commentary. <laughs> Stoughton's teams shelled out another 600 bucks to fix the giant jerseys. Rui initially wanted that reimbursed. He's just been, you know, mostly ignoring us. They're coming up with more and more excuses. We want to be able to talk to you. Now he wants nothing to do with this man or his business. Thanks to our partners in Minneapolis for tracking down that owner. Rui tells me that man offered to take back the jerseys and replace them, but he'd rather not deal with breakaway sportswear anymore. Rui says the new donated jerseys should be here in time for big tournaments in the coming weeks. Good news for them. Yeah, just a few Gosh. weeks left on the season. So. Yeah, yeah. Four kids. There's no, yeah. nothing more important than a jersey. Though. I know. I remember. I remember. Absolutely. They mean a lot. Danica, thanks. Sure.